Why is it important to know about divine healing? Healing that is divine comes from God. This does not mean that God does not send us through biblical principles of eating and lifestyle or to earthly possessions, but divine healing could be all of those things intermingled together. Speaking from experience, not being physically and mentally strong for a very long time in my life, the work of God in me has definitely strengthened me and fixed um, and healed my body. Being sick affects everything around you. For example, it affects our jobs. It affects um, the way we interact with people um, in general. Um, usually we're moody. We can't get out of bed. And it definitely um, affects the way we raise our family. Let's face it, without good health, we're limited in our abilities. I'm praying that the radio ministry um, and my books and the YouTube ministry um, reaches people far and wide um, in, in teaching them all about healing, which will um, pour from the skies, from the invisible hand of God in an abundant supply across the nation. I'm believing Jesus that people will become healed and they will be able to grab a hold of the knowledge and maybe like be more like Christ and go and spread beyond the borders. Let's look at John 19, not 19, 14 today, verses 9 and 10. Jesus is speaking to Philip in this scripture, but he also is speaking directly to us when he says the next two powerhouse statements. In order to understand healing, you have to understand these two powerhouse statements. Um, if I was you, I'd mark them down. I'd put them um, as memory verse scriptures. Um, and I would um, go over and over them until they actually sink deep into your heart. Sometimes we go over a verse or a scripture and it's in one ear and it's, in, and it's out in the other ear. But these two simple truths must be more than that in your life it must be deeply rooted and grounded in your heart it must be um so down deep that you actually believe it and um utilize it all right so here's the, here's the first one jesus says i've been with you all these times but you don't know me yet do you feel like that sometimes it's a growing up thing in christianity sometimes you know, we go just like a baby does. We um, are born and uh, reborn and making into a new creature. It's not an overnight kind of thing, but it's like a growing thing. You become an elder eventually. And the closer you get to Christ, that's time for your mission to be over. So, but we need to kind of grow in these things. And we need our elders still to be around to teach us. But he says, he goes on to say... Um, did, did he uh, follow up? Then he follows up with the statement saying, If you have seen me, then you have also seen the nature of God. And in the next few verses, notice that God is in Jesus and God is performing the works through Jesus. Now, this is what is really what you have to get deep in your heart. When Jesus came to do his earthly ministry, Jesus um, was given a mission. And he always says to God, he always, um, when he says, I'm about my father's business. I'm about um, what my father's will is. I'm always, he's always, always doing the mission. He, um, he came to seek and to save those who would believe. He also came to bring healing into this land. And if you study Jesus' life at all, um, he's talking to Philip in this scripture. And he's like, Philip, you know me. You've seen me do all these things. But do you know me yet? Do you understand my mission? Do you understand why, excuse me, am I here? And Philip says, he doesn't really give much of an answer there. But then he follows up the good news the gospel of jesus christ has always been the good news that every pastor under the sun has said 
but not every pastor under the sun has also told me that the good news is the good news of Jesus healing. I've heard that the gospel is the good news. The gospel is the absolute powerhouse statement. Yes, Jesus' birth, um, death, and resurrection. Yes, power. But there's also another point that it's healing power. Okay, so because of Satan and his production of false prophets and lies, most of us don't have this ability to picture Christ um, and God as one. We say this, but we don't actually digest this thought totally. Often we don't realize its significance fully. Therefore, through these studies, we need to understand that all of Jesus' miracles throughout the New Testament was done through and by God. Verse 10 of um, John 14 explicitly tells us that the work was done by God and through God. For example, the healing of the woman with the issue of blood was a work not only of Jesus, but of God also. We're going to study the true nature of God because the more we know about the nature of God, we will realize that he wants to heal us and see us well so that we may feel our divine purposes here on earth. The next statement that we're going to quickly go over today is John 6, 38. Um, if you're familiar with John 6, 38, the primary focus there um, of this scripture, scripture is to allow us to see that Jesus came to earth to do the will of the Father. Um, glory, hallelujah. I'm glad he didn't come and do his own will. I'm glad that he followed the will and the plan of, of God. All more miracles that Jesus performed were the miracles of God. The miracles that Jesus did while he was here on earth was the will of the Father, was what the Father wanted him to do. Today, he is the same God as he was with Philip and the disciples, and he still walks the earth because he's in each and every one of us. Therefore, what marvelous works can God pour out on us today? What we believe is what he can pour out. I believe in divine healing because I have been divinely healed and I have seen divine healing of lots of other people. And I'm here to deliver a message to you that the power that Jesus used on earth as he walked his three and a half years of ministry is the same power that runs through our veins. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. He, the same powers, we still have the same power to heal the sick and the lame and the brokenhearted. And it's not our will that that be done. It is the will of God. Satan has um, triumphed in this world. He knows it's coming to an end. He's um, throwing out more pestilence. He's throwing out more venom and more sickness than um, what any man has ever seen before. And glory to God. He is still in the saving business. He is able to heal to the uttermost. Satan only counterfeits what God um makes and creates and God creates and makes holiness and he desires for us to live holy healthy lives so that we can fulfill our purpose here on earth that is the scripture for today John 6 38 and John 14 verse 10 and I hope that that helps you and enlightens you for your day today. May you have a closer walk with Jesus. Until next time, amen. And until next time, may God grant you healing and health. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Next, I would like to tell you about a special offer that we have for this month. I would love to give you an autographed copy of my book entitled Finding Healing in God's Backyard Student Edition for a donation of at least $25. This will help us continue to stay on 
your radio station. Please mail a payment to 671 Hope Acres Road, Elkview, West Virginia 25071 or you may donate by going online to www.FindingHealingInGodsBackyard.com slash store. Up next, let's worship and praise God in song. Then we will have your biblical bookmark for today.